have a good day. beast here and right here right now in the year of the tiger sitting here in front of me are things that i don't give a flying f about but what it is is me going back to my roots taking on a gauntlet challenge from hell that is going to test my mental abilities and my senses and even though i'm out of season doing gauntlet challenges i'm about to eat a 51 year old vietnam era mre I'm going to defy human science by consuming six saltine crackers in less than a minute. I'm going to consume my arch nemesis wasabi, which is the main ingredient in English Coleman's mustard. I'm going to 100% deplete the water in my body by eating four of the saltiest pieces of licorice in the world. And then I'm going to eat an entire block of cheese that smells like sweaty gym socks and dirty cardboard, followed by consuming one of the world's spiciest gummy bears ranked in at 9 million Scoville heat units, and then wash it all down with this high Seattle cooler mixture, to which I added Thicket, which makes liquid thick and slimy. And I'm going to chug it down in 39 seconds of less using a leaf blower. Why? Because it's f***ing awesome, that's why. And am I wearing my watch that I used to wear in fourth grade, which has Indiglo? You're, you're darn right. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Jesus. Now what I just did is dump some cumin powder into my special Montreal Expos hat signed by Jabril Peppers, who went to Paramus Catholic High School and now plays for the New York Giants, to where in high school I played Paramus Catholic. Ipso facto I played the New York Giants. And hopefully what that is going to do right here right now is make me not out of season doing a gauntlet challenge. And before we get started, I must give an official shout out to the originator of the Gauntlet Challenge, I think in general, and here on YouTube, uh, Trey Vista Bomb, to which Trey Vista Bomb back in 2012 inspired me and opened up my horizons about what is humanly possible to consume as he took on the first ever Gauntlet Challenge. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Trey, Trey Vista Bomb. Jeez. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Trey Vista. Okay? Okay, great. That's, and that's what it is. Give it up for Trey Vista Bomb. Now, is this specific gauntlet going to be more challenging than gauntlet challenges that I've experienced in the past? That is yet to be determined. But my strategy and my mental game plan right here, right now, honestly, the last 51-year-old MRE from Vietnam that I've consumed, it actually tasted pretty good. Uh, but actually consuming beef, 51-year-old beef, questionable. Now, back in 2011, television shows such as Tosh.0, said that it was scientifically impossible for a human being to consume six saltine crackers in less than a minute because of all the salt. And I would say back in 2013, I tried to consume as many jars of English Coleman's mustard as possible. And the main ingredient, it's like a horseradish slash wasabi. Uh, and if anybody's ever actually had wasabi in their life, it will clear your sinuses. And my goal for this tiny bottle of English Coleman's mustard is to take it down as fast as possible. Next, I must say thank you to my fellow YouTuber, Hoffa Chaos, who hails from Sweden. Uh, and, and the one thing I learned about Swedish people is not only do they like their surstroming, but also they enjoy the world's saltiest licorice. But the world's saltiest licorice is not easy to get down as each piece is doused in salt. When you actually put one piece on your tongue, it feels like it's burning a hole through it. So as my body and skin is shriveling up from all of that salt intake, then I'm going to test my senses by consuming an entire block of 6.4 ounce Limburger cheese, which is probably one of the world's most smelliest cheeses, as in my opinion, it actually smells like stale gym socks 
and wet cardboard. And then to bring it on home, all that I plan on doing is, is, is consuming one of the measliest looking gummy bears which packs 9 million Scoville heat units. Uh, and I've actually consumed one of these before to where, honestly, all it does is release your pain receptors. And I think it's going to pair well together as my pain receptors are releasing through my body as I take down a 2 liter bottle using a leaf blower in 39 seconds or less. This high ciecto cooler to which I put Thicket. And what Thicket does uh, is actually make uh, whatever you put Thicket in tastes like slimy, gooey slime. So without further ado, for the love of God, because hopefully I have cumin in my hat, I'm going to be successful. Oh, let, you know what, let's find out together. I am the LA Beast, and this is one hell of a attempt of a comeback here on YouTube. And what I'm about to do to start it all off is consume 51-year-old beef and rice. Wagyu beef? Fuck you! Again, uh, thank you to Justin Roiland, one of the co-creators of Rick and Morty who sent me this original 1968 MRE. And quite honestly, I will do my very best to, to open it up. Great. Excellent. Uh, and, and the last thing that I remember from eating this MRE, the cough, if there's coffee in here, it's going to taste great. I actually have some water off to the side. We have two cameras rolling. Okay, great. Honestly, this, this, I think this is going to be good. This is like freezer dried, vacuum sealed, all the way for the past 51 years. Boom. Um, oh, sweet. All right, all right, okay. Fair enough, we have some Maxwell House coffee. Uh, I think we're not gonna have the coffee, but we're gonna we're gonna have some cocoa. Uh, I have I'm gonna put the the warm water into the beef and rice, but then I'm going to actually utilize this 51 year old cocoa, which is one and one half ounces, uh, to help me get through. This like this, this looks brand new. This looks brand new. This is actually a cornflake bar. We have a co cornflake bar, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you know what, it, it smells like stale cardboard that's 51 years old, but I'm going to eat it anyway. Uh, we have the matches, I don't care about the matches, I don't care about the napkin, and or the toothpicks, and or the sugar, or cream substitute. Okay, boom. Let's put everything that we don't need. This is a gauntlet challenge, we gotta keep moving. Feels a little, feels a little bit moist. I don't know why it'd be... Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. Alright, let's do it. Let's start it up. We're gonna get the beef and rice going. This is a uh, 51 year old beef and rice. Show it to both cameras and again, we have our... This is a cornflake bar to which uh, we have that there and we have our cocoa powder. So let's ration our, our hot water from our puck of butt. Okay, this is not... Okay. Boom. You know what? I can already tell that this is probably going to be absolutely delicious. Um, we have beef and rice. Okay, we have beef and rice spilling over all over my leg. Boom. Let that boil. I'm going to take this off. Uh, we don't really have that much water left, but because I, okay, it's leaking all over the table. You know what? This is not going great. I just, I just got 51 year old cocoa all over my phone. Okay. Well, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to start eating the beef and rice. We're making some go-go. This is the LA Beast. It's the year of the tiger. And I'm eating 51 year old rice and beef from the Vietnam. All right, uh, it's definitely hot as hell because the water just came off the stove on the kettle.
honestly, it's like if I'm eating ramen noodles that are not cooked all the way through. So there's a little bit of crunch, but as far as the beef, this is actually pretty amazing. This is literally, <laughs> that's legitimately amazing that I'm eating 51 year old beef and rice. All right, my game plan going forward, I actually, if you can see in the camera right here, hopefully, if it's not too blurry, I poured 51-year-old cocoa, and I used the majority of the hot water now in this beef and rice. I'm going to pour the rest of the beef and rice, not too much, into the cocoa, and I'm going to drink it as I try and achieve now this gauntlet challenge. So, I'm gonna do that now. All right, nice. uh, a cocoa beef and rice smoothie. I will keep 100% all of this original Vietnam era packaging off to the side, okay? And I have a, a barf spot to where the beef and stuff went out all over my favorite blanket. Okay, uh, I'm just going to eat this uh, hopefully cornflake bar uh, and then we're gonna call it a day. This is a cornflake bar just in case anybody can't see what it is. Oh boy, uh, the plastic is definitely really old. Mm. So it has like a wafer feeling, but it's, again, it smells like, uh, it's made from cornflakes, it's like sour cornflakes. Okay, hmm. Um. Okay, it's like there should have been like a sugar blast that hit my mouth as if you're eating like uh, uh, Frosted Flakes, for instance. Not even close. Not good. Shout out to the Pepper Pop Ducker Papa Benny. <laughs> Woo! Okay, there we go. I ate everything from the MRE from Vietnam era. Uh, and am I feeling slightly ill? Probably. So, what we're going to do right here, right now, is hopefully defy human science. As they say, specifically, probably just Tosh.0 in 2011, that it's humanly impossible to consume six saltine crackers in less than a minute, <clears throat> to which I have done so with a tarantula on my hands. Uh, I have six saltines ready to go, and I have extra attempts with the timer. So uh, here we go. Let me just, uh, I'm just get a Jesus. Okay, I just knocked out. This is it. I only have one shot. Okay, here we go. Whew. Uh, we have one minute. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to defy science humanly. Let me do. Uh, 
three, two. I'm eating two at a time. Three, two, one. here is one jar of English Coleman's mustard I've tried in the past to consume wasabi balls of it to which one time I was only successful while doing a sushi chowder okay I can't even speak there we go uh, uh, English Coleman's mustard in the past I've tried to consume I would definitely say roughly five bottles of this before it felt like I looked like the ex you know what just stop talking here we go. Oh. What wasabi does is like clear your nasal passages, which is what hopefully it's going to do right to me right here, right now. Speed this part up. Uh, uh. You know, what? I think already. I think already. You know, I need to get my berry shake. I just need to slow things down. Uh, just like a little bit at a time. That, 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 it wasn't too bad. one at a time you know just slow everything down mentally and you can do it oh you got this Give it up. Uh, uh. Uh, it's a marathon, not a sprint. I just I just blew 51 year old beef and rice out of my nose. Oh, come on. This is a good bite. This is a good bite here. Oh, that's English Coleman's mustard, ladies and gentlemen. Okay.
15 seconds, it's just a burning, horseradish burning feeling. You know what, we're, we're going to accept that uh, as we're done. We're done after this. Even though there's a little bit left, we're done. Ugh. We made it through. We are going to switch the program. I'm going to have a block of the world's smelliest cheese, AKA Limburger cheese. If it was like 90 degrees in the summer and the sun was beating down on a garbage can that was dirty, with dirty garbage in it, that's what Limburger cheese smells like. Bon appetit! Tastes like sh. Second camera turned off, you piece of crap. You, you got, got this. this. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Mr. Four Twenty. Yeah, eight sixty records, eight six zero, baby. Shout out to the Parmesan cheese once. Went bad. If like Parmesan cheese had body odor, uh, it's like very chewy and, and like. when I started filming this now I sat down for the first time in front of all this shit, I didn't want to do this and I still don't want to do it specifically Hop of Chaos from YouTube shout out to you my brother from Sweden who sent me the world's saltiest licorice uh, and quite honestly like just oh god these are probably now about two years old I have eight pieces here and I'm going to eat to the best of my ability, four total pieces without water because I'm a man. Oh,
Bon Appetit. It's gonna be an hour long video. At this point, I was thinking to myself, what the hell have you gone done gotten yourself into? If I'd already taken the next piece, I would have only had one piece left. Duh. Duh. Okay. Uh. I think what we're going to do right here, right now, for the sake of keeping this video going, we're going to move on to the world spice <coughs> scummy bear. What I'm going to do right here, right now, after I just devoured 51 year old beef and rice, I defied science by consuming six saltine crackers in less than a minute, followed by dominating my arch nemesis of wasabi, which is the main ingredient in the English call it's mustard. And then, as it feels like there's a hole burning through my tongue as I've consumed the world's saltiest licorice, after eating uh, Limburger cheese. I'm going to have the world's spiciest gummy bear. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually chew it for one minute. And then I have to have a one minute afterburn period. There's actually a dynamite stick on this gummy bear's uh, thing. And uh, 9 million Scoville and uh, we're almost done here. Oh my God. <sighs> I'm the LA Beast. I love you all. Thank you very much for your support. Have a good day. Me. I'm gonna get the leaf blood. I already taste that it's very spicy. Oh my god. Swallowed it. This it's not really a school school bill. Oh, oh no. no. Oh. Okay. Oh God. Uh, uh. Okay, 20 seconds. I feel light ahead. Uh, uh. Come on. 10.
Uh, I just spit on 120 year old wooden floors. So without further ado, I am the LA Beast, and I'll definitely say, this, this is definitely a uh, much harder of a comeback than I thought, but nonetheless, I've made it this, I, I, did, I did what I did, shout out to Mojave RX, which is one of the better CBD products on the market here, uh, and hopefully, uh, because it's the strongest CBD on the market with 10,000 milligrams of CBD, I hope I can put that on my face. You okay? I didn't hear an ending. Were you able to do it? What got you? Um, it definitely didn't end well. <laughs> the snow on your nose. You know what? It's the year of the tiger. Have a good day. Okay, that wasn't as crazy as I thought it would be.